Today, I'm going to talk to you about influencer whitelisting and what are the pros and cons for both you as an influencer as well as a brand. Let's do it. So first off, what is influencer whitelisting? If you're an influencer, essentially, if you whitelist a brand, this brand will be able to use your page on Facebook or your Instagram handle to advertise their content to either their audience or your audience. Secondly, the brand that is whitelisted will be able to access your audiences as well, which means people who engage with your content on Instagram or on Facebook, people who like or follow your page and your Instagram handle and so on. And this is something that is very valuable for brands because they can reach your audience directly. So what are the pros and cons? For brands, the big advantage of using whitelisting is that they're able to use the influencers or the content creators handle directly to advertise their content to the influencer's audience and as well as having direct access to the audience that the influencer has built before. For influencers, the benefit of whitelisting a brand is to be able to capitalize on a brand's spend to actually capture a wider audience. So typically brands would use your profile to advertise to your own audience, but also outside of this audience to the brand's audiences. And that would allow you as an influencer to expand your own reach. And because it's always under your own handle, you will see more followers and more people liking your page because of this advertising activity. Secondly, this is another revenue channel for influencers who can charge for this whitelisting a flat fee or a percentage fee of the spend or whatever they agree on with the brand. So the other big benefit for an influencer to use whitelisting, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to post any content. The brand can do all the work and it leaves the influencer to basically capitalize on the audience they have already built. So what about the downside? The downside for influencers is that they're losing some control of what is being shown and advertised under their own profile, under their own Instagram handle and Facebook page to their audience. So this is something that influencers should be very aware of and they should put in place certain rules and approval flows to make sure that only content that the influencer is happy with is being shown to their audience. Secondly, influencers also give away the ability to reach their own audiences to other brands, which basically is the crown jewel of what they have built before. There is not a huge risk here, but it's something to be aware of and that this should have a price as well. Now to the last point, how can you use whitelisting? Well, Facebook makes it relatively difficult, but we at Leedsy have built a tool to make it super easy for influencers to grant whitelisting rights. All you have to do is open the link that your agency or your, your brand partner is sending you and you just select the Facebook page that you would like to share with this partner, as well as the Instagram account that you want to share, that you want to whitelist. And you just click confirm. And this is it. If you are a brand or an agency and you would like to make it super easy for influencers to give you whitelisting abilities, then check out Leadsy under leadsy.com and try us out for free for 14 days and enjoy whitelisting made easy. Thank you.